Hey y'all and welcome back to another video by Umbra's Darkness. In today's video, you guys, we're going to do the update of March 28th. Uh, I think it's a very important update. There's a lot of interesting things in it. So we're going to cover that in, in its own video. Before anyone brings it up, before anyone asks, I did migrate to a new server. No drama. The server of Anna, the server of 193 is okay. Uh, the alliance Anna is probably the best alliance that I could have ever asked for in that server uh but the nerd herd is a part of server 260 not all members but a few and i wanted to be with them because i talk to them about the game almost every day with that you guys let's go ahead and dive into it first off and foremost the added season gameplay lost island we're going to talk about that last added one tap replenish resource feature for building upgrades evolution soldier ant hatching love it i think that's phenomenal i think that's great i think it's a plus uh it's a huge quality of life update and they didn't have to do it so i'm glad that they did cancel the stamina consumption for attacking groundhog but there will be a daily attacking times limit dog if there was another way to spell greed it would be fuck it would be them uh your limit, you can attack the Groundhog up to 20 times in each event. 20 times. The optimal player could have attacked the Groundhog double that. 44 times was the optimal number of times that you could attack the Groundhog before this limit was put into place. Optimistically, they should have split the difference and allowed 32 attacks. That would have been an additional 72,000 fodder, roughly. Um... That's insane, you guys. That's a huge amount of fodder to lose as a free-to-play player and even as a pay-to-win player. I run out of fodder every day. every uh, Sunday. I'm out of fodder. I can't believe that they're limiting this. I can't believe that they're doing this. And the fact that people are not talking about it yet uh, is a really big issue because Groundhog is on Sunday and change needs to happen now. This number needs to change now. Not after Sunday when we've lost a lot of fodder already. So, in my personal opinion, you should reach out to a ferry. You should reach out in a ticket. And you should say, hey man, 20 attacks is not enough. It should be at 40. It should be at 32. You know, it should. there should not be a punishment because you want to improve the quality of life. 20 attacks is not fair. All right. But on the positive side, it doesn't consume stamina anymore. So you get to do special ant, special hunts. You get to do lizards. You get to do regular insects. And you get to do player versus player if you want. But still, 20 attacks is not enough. That's not a fair amount of fodder. Uh, now rollers can long press the transport button for three seconds from the themed event to enter auto transporting mode. This is pretty cool. It's a really nice feature. It's super simple. And it means you can press it uh, and then walk away. So all you go is you go into the Force of Tide events, you go to here, and you just one, two, three, there you go. And it goes super fast and it just sends them all away. No more clicking a bunch of times if you're on computer, no more holding for the entire time. You can set down your phone or you can talk to someone and not care about it. And it'll just go until it's gone and then it just automatically stops. It's really nice, super easy filled feature. Again, another quality of life improvement. Uh, so I don't understand why it's not under like new feature like this one is. Um, added daily task underground cave fungus challenge. I like that. That's good. I hope it's only on Mondays. Crystal mines attack and mine task adjusted as a daily task. Sure. Uh, I don't know what the quantity has changed to. Attack and mines. It's the exact same actually. So I don't understand. If you guys see something different, please let me know. Uh, there's no like new main task, so I don't understand what that one's talking about. When types of intel are turned off from the tree, the corresponding blinking red effect will also be turned off. This is huge. For someone that has a family member that su suffers from epilepsy or from a situation where flashing lights cause them vertigo, uh, this is a huge quality of life. I am so happy that they are doing this. So, kudos on them. Added special ant type filtering button on March unit interface. Uh, 
I don't think that that really is going to impact many players other than, like, the whales, right? Um, but, you know, that's I guess that's cool. Because you can, like, search by guardian, shooter, and carrier, and normal. But I, for me, it, it, it's, like, cool. If you needed that feature, that's good. But it doesn't impact how I play the game at all. Uh, added special, or sorry, the color of text and special ants skill description will be red if this skill requires specific soldier ants to take effect. That's cool, you guys. I'm glad that they're bringing more awareness to what's required and when it's required. Um, because sometimes people make mistakes and they don't understand. So carrier ants is, uh, orange and guardians are orange. So maybe make them different colors too, but hey, that's, that's cool. If you're making mistakes like that, hopefully this helps bring attention so you're not anymore. Uh, optimize the Emperor Scorpion's model size in some of a, uh, in some of the scenes. Phenomenal! I hope Emperor Scorpion model size is actually an Emperor size. Uh, if you guys didn't know, it was smaller than the regular Scorpion. Fixed an issue with some rulers cannot claim the 4th and 5th personal rewards from Strongest Warzone event in time, even if the Intermediate Rewards Evolution has been unlocked. The unclaimed rewards will be sent to the root. Uh, so, cool. Fixed a bug that was impacting some people. I didn't experience it. Glad that it's fixed. Fixed the issues with display abnormal in store. Cool. Glad that they fixed it. Didn't experience it myself, but glad they were able to. Fix some in-game text description issues. Cool. Happy that it worked out. Happy that people were able to uh, do that. If the in-game text description issues uh, turns out to be like key wording changes on special ants i'm sure people will bring it up and tell me i would love to know that all right you guys let's talk about the doozy of the one number one added seasonal gameplay lost island brand new zone and gameplay as well as various types of rare items waiting for you if you guys don't know this is limited to server 2 to server 50 so they've been hyping this up for two months and Three months promising it to the world, and now they're limiting it to server 2 to server 50. Um, if we look at a couple of screenshots, we can see that there's they're trying. Uh, the Discord mods are trying. I do want to make it clear that the Discord mods, uh, as I've said in the past, are just people. They're just players just like us. Uh, I usually say that in like a mean, belittling way. Uh, but in this case, I mean, I mean it in a defensive way. They had no more idea than us that the event was going to be limited like the like this. It is unfair to attack them or to see that. And if I see it in my Discord or anywhere else, I will stand up and I will stop you. That is not okay. They're just people. They had no idea. So, again, it's hard to explain farther. I got told server 2 to ser server 50 for the start, more during April. Servers that are newly added to the event will be informed via mail. I have no further details, so I'm unable to explain farther. An example, server 2 through 50, first week of April, 51 through 100, second week, 101 through 150, third week of April. You guys, this is huge. Uh, this is super unfortunate. It's huge because it means that migrating away like I just did potentially extended the time that I have before I get to see it by two weeks and it's already going to be four weeks before i see it um if i was in 193 it also means that if you're migrating in server uh the server 2 to 150 range you should think twice because maybe you're not going to get the rewards but we don't know what the rewards are we don't know how often so in my opinion i would migrate for the longevity of your account and the longevity of playing i would not migrate for momentary enjoyment uh, I am working on getting a farm account, an alt account, uh, or building my own account before uh, this event opens so that way I can see it and I can do content on it. I personally do not believe that it is worth throwing your migration to get into this event a week early, two weeks early, whatever. I would not do that. All right, with that, you guys, it comes to the end of the video. Um, again, I would not mess up your migration for this event i would strongly recommend migrating to the server you wanted to uh i 
you know, it's just another example of the devs not doing a good job communicating, uh, which is an ongoing and reoccurring issue with this game. You guys, thank you to the Patreon for supporting me. Thank you so much for subscribing, sharing my videos, and liking my videos. Uh, I try to keep it as real and honest as possible, and I try to share my opinions as much and as frequently as possible. Uh, please, it means the world to me if you subscribe. It does truly impact uh, everything about making content. So please consider subscribing and liking this video. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the new event being limited like this. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the rest of the patch notes in Groundhog. Am I wrong? Am I being too greedy for wanting more than 20 hits? Uh, yeah. Again, huge shout out to the Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting me in, my, uh, in all of my daily tasks. Please, I try to respond as much as possible to the YouTube comments. Or you can catch me in the Discord. I'm as active as possible. Worst case scenario, you can catch me on server 260. Until next time, you guys. Stay humble. Stay happy. Stay hungry. Bye, y'all.